Welcome everyone to a, another, another Tortuga channel update. Yes, I am recording once again. My computer is alive! So I've replaced my failed solid state drive with another one, a bigger one, which is always nice. Um, and hooray, things are working again. I'm playing one of my favorite games, Supreme Ruler Ultimate. I, just the Cold War start for this, it's just so fantastic. It allows, just, you get to go through all the different designs and I mean, okay, you get a research. It's one of those games that does a great job of separating research from R and D to a design. So R and D gives you something, but I mean, research, and then you—it's basically research and then development. Well, what are you going to do? We're going to develop with the technologies we've learned. We're going to build a tank. So this sounds like a good tank. Let's uh, now that we have the technology, military production level three, which is representative of some abstract technological advancements, whatever it is. With these technologies, we are now able to build tanks that can do this. But we now we have to spend some time, usually a lot less time, 95 versus these are like years and years, or 83 days, I guess that's a counterpoint, but that's only 83 days remaining, and uh, I've already sunk, it looks like, two-thirds the cost in that. So that, you know, it's like 300 days versus 95 days, so spend some time. Anyway, I'm back, and one of the things I really wanted to talk about here, if I can grab the right one, documents. So app data, which was on my boot drive, is dead. No longer. It's gone. Because that whole drive was dead. And what I've always done is I've tried... First of all, you should know your drives. You should... Even you can do partitions if you want, whatever. But um, you should know your drives. And I know my boot drive, my solid state drive, especially the way I cranked it and kept it full. And like I was not nice to it. I always expected that um, it could go at any moment. And my magnetic drives, I used to have RAID zeroed, um, just meant redundant, but one of those drives died, and I just never replaced the other one, so it's now just a single drive. Uh, but that one I always expected. Magnetics, they typically last a long time. They can last as long as you want. Really, the fail for that is, oh, the magnetic head <laughs> it disrupted. I think it's mostly when the magnetic head rubs the disc or something like that. That's when you have a, a failure. Well, you definitely have a critical failure if that happens. But... Um, I put everything on the D drive, which is my thing, and that's my non, my magnetic drive, and I always expected this one to survive. So this is my documents area, my the one I um, had on my old version of Windows, the one I previously had. Now it's stored somewhere else, but that doesn't matter. So this is all the stuff I was able to save. Now the horrendous thing, first of all, is the fact that everybody is saving their games to my documents, to documents I should say, directly rather than using my games. Why not put things here? Like these, okay, XCOM there, Billions, the Operational Art of War, Terraria, Tables Optimum Later, Supreme Ruler Ultimate, this game, uh, Strategic Command World War One, all the Strategic Commands, Skyrim, even, I mean, you can praise Bethesda for doing something right in this. They've all got their SHIT together. They've all got their crap together. Um, putting, like, I don't need, I already counted this, so it's 59, but I don't need... 59 folders. I don't need 59 folders of games in my documents. This is where stuff like personal and work should go, but I have to put another separate folder with an underscore so I can find it. Uh, anyways, this is my rant. This is obviously just a rant about get your stuff together. Windows is not like a great operating system, but it can be used properly. And the problem is it's not a great operating system because it doesn't enforce correct operation. You have people throwing your, their crap into app data where it does not belong. App data is for stuff like single-use items, in my opinion, stuff which makes the application work. Your save games are not what's going to make the game work. Those belong in documents. So that, yeah, I have no control over app data. I cannot move it. As far as I know, I cannot move it to a different drive. It has to stay on my boot drive. I do have control. Thank God for Windows allowing us to have control over where our documents are. So you can move it to a drive. That means that you can save your solid state resources for things which matter. I don't need my documents to be loaded in two seconds. I need applications loaded in two seconds. Um, I need you know a few games that I want to be loaded on the solid state, but not documents. So thankfully, Windows allows us to put documents, videos, recordings, all that stuff, um, pictures, all that onto a separate drive if we want. But then games kind of override that by being stupid. It's just very bad programming tech uh, technique, in my opinion, to use uh, percentage app data percentage as your thing. 
that should be used for stuff which you absolutely need to run the program. Um, it could be config files. Like if you wanna put config files, that's fine, but save game data does not belong there. And because config files can just as easily fit in the documents, you might as well shove it in the same spot you're putting the save game information. It's just bad programming practice. It rubs me the wrong way. That's my rant. But let's get back to the point at hand, which is just, hooray, my computer is working. <laughs> so mixed mixed bag that I lost um, anything which was in app data, I lost, which unfortunately was a lot of um, save game stuff. But for all the ones who did it right, I just want to make, I even thought about making a separate video and just titling it, um, like, note from from a gamer to developers you know these game developers please do the right thing don't use doc uh, don't use app data use documents everyone will be happier we can control the place where our save games are which is nice app data is bad it should not be used for things unless it's absolutely necessary but i think it's just kind of like a, a catch-all for bad programming that we just do people just use app data because it's easy to access um, it's easy to remember what I don't even know exactly what the reasons are there might be some legitimate reasons beyond my on understanding but to my understanding I think it's just a environmental variable that they call and they call app data instead of calling documents which is what they should but my data will be uh, sorry my data my videos will be back on the channel I just I love this game I can't wait to play it a lot more if you're um, if you've been looking for me on the discord like I, I was actually posting some of my computer updates posting like pictures of my desktop as I pulled it apart, put it back together with the new solid state drive. So it's all working and now I should be back on Discord. I should be able to play some multiplayer games. So come join me there. We'll do some Quiplash. We'll do some multiplayer, whatever. StarCraft. We haven't played StarCraft in a while. but um, So that's it. This video is just an announcement that my channel is back up and running as quickly as I can make it. And wh why wait, right? I mean, I just, I had, I wanted to get it back up and running as quickly as possible, uh, which has happened. So, yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. A lot of people helped out. I did not have to reinstall. Uh, I did not have to buy a new license for Windows. It did correctly register my motherboard and license combination, which was wonderful. Um, so thanks for everyone's support on that and advice, feedback. Uh, and if you have any other questions about the, the rebuild process, just come on my Discord and ask me or ask in the comments. So until the new stream of videos, which should be soon pouring out on the channel, thanks for watching and take care.